Are you tired of trying to remember dozens of different passwords or worse, are you reusing the same password for multiple websites? Today, I'm going to show you a solution, a modern, secure, and completely free open source password manager that you can use on Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Stick around. Today, we're talking about KeePass XC, an offline password manager based on the classic KeePass project. Unlike cloud-based managers, KeePass XC gives you full control over your password vault. Your encrypted database file stays on your machine or wherever you decide to store it. KeePass XC is for people who don't want to store their sensitive information with an online provider. It saves your usernames, passwords, notes, and more into a single offline encrypted file that you control. It uses strong encryption, AES-256, to keep your data safe. I will walk you through everything from installation to importing your passwords from Google Chrome and features like browser integration. But first, I'm not a cybersecurity expert. I'm not affiliated or being paid by the developer of this software. For this or any other software program, do your own research, make a good decision for you. Let's go. First things first, let's get KeePass XC installed. It is critical that you only download it from the official website at keepassxc.org. This ensures you're getting the authentic application created by the KeePass XC team and not a tampered version. For Windows, you'll download an MSI installer During installation, you'll see a user account control prompt. Make sure the verified publisher is Droid Monkey Apps LLC. If it shows anything else, do not proceed. Follow the setup wizard and click finish when it's done. Once KeePass XC is installed, let's create your secure database. When you first open the application, click Create New Database. Give your database a name like Passwords and an optional description. The next screen shows encryption settings. The default settings are excellent, but you can increase the decryption time. A higher value offers more protection, but means it takes a little longer to open your database. Now for the most important part, your master password. This is the one password that protects all your other passwords. It needs to be strong and memorable. Alternatively, I highly recommend using the built-in password generator to create one. If you lose this password, your data may be lost forever. View and record this password and then click apply password. Finally, click done and choose where to save your database file. This is your encrypted.kdbx file. You can store it on your computer, a USB drive, or even in a cloud storage folder like Dropbox or Google Drive if you choose, but then it is not offline. However, it is still secured because the cloud provider cannot access your encrypted file. I recommend saving a copy of this to a physical flash drive and putting it in a secured location. Wherever you store your important documents, birth certificates, social security cards, a fireproof lockbox if you have it. Once you unlock your database, you'll see the main interface. It's split into a few key areas. On the left, you have groups to organize your entries like internet, work, or gaming. In the middle is the entries list, which shows all the items in the selected group. And at the bottom is the preview pane, which shows the details of the selected entry. I'm going to show you how to manually add a password, but if your passwords are currently stored in your browser, like Chrome's password manager, we can easily import all of those in and I will cover that as well. Let's add our first password. Click the plus icon on the toolbar or press Ctrl N to create a new entry. An edit entry window will pop up. Fill in the details. A title for easy identification like Google or Netflix. Your username and password. 
For the password, click the dice icon to open the password generator. This is the best way to create a unique, strong password for every site. You can adjust the length and which character types to use. Add the URL for the website. This is important for browser integration later. Once you add a URL, you can even press the download button to automatically get the website's icon. You can also add notes or tags for better organization. When you're done, click OK to save the entry. Many of you are using the password manager built into your web browser, like Google Chrome. While it's convenient, it's not the most secure or flexible option. It's a two-step process. First, we'll export from Chrome, and second, we'll import into KeePass XC. If you use a different browser or have an existing password manager, the process will be similar. So first, we're gonna open up Google Chrome and click the three-dot menu in the top right corner. Go to Settings. On the left-hand menu, click on Autofill and Passwords, and then select Google Password Manager. In the Password Manager Settings, click on Settings in the left sidebar. You'll see a section called Export Passwords. Click the Download File button. A Save As dialog will pop up. Name your file something clear like Chrome Passwords, and save it to your desktop or another easy-to-find location. And that's it. You now have a file named chromepasswords.csv. Now, a very important warning. This CSV file you just created is a plain text file. Anyone who opens it can see all of your usernames and passwords. It's not encrypted. We need to import it into KeePassXC and then securely delete this file immediately. Do not email it, do not save it to the cloud, and do not leave it on your computer after you're done. Now, Let's bring those passwords into the safety of your KeePass XC database. Open KeePass XC and unlock your database. Go to the menu bar and click Database, Import CSV File. The Import Wizard will open. Click the Browse button and select the Chrome Passwords.csv file you just saved. You can choose to import these passwords into your currently open database or into a brand new one. For this, we'll import it into our existing database. Now you'll see the CSV import wizard. This screen looks a bit complicated, but it's very smart. Let's you map the columns from your Chrome file to the correct fields in KeePass XC. But Chrome CSV format is pretty standard, so KeePass XC will likely just recognize it automatically. You'll see a preview at the bottom showing your data neatly organized into columns like title, username, password, and URL. Make sure the column association looks correct. Named from Chrome should map to title in the KeePass XC, URL to URL, username to username, and password to password. Also, ensure the first line has field names boxes checked as Chrome exports include this header now. Once you've confirmed the preview looks right, click Done. And just like that, all of your passwords from Chrome are now securely stored in your KeePass XC database. They will be organized under a new group created by the import process. The final and most critical step is to securely delete the CSV file. Don't just drag it to the recycle bin or trash. Ideally, you'd want to use a file shredder utility, but at a minimum, empty the recycle bin immediately to ensure that the unencrypted password file is gone for good. And now you've successfully migrated from Chrome's password manager to the far more secure and private KeePass XC. Manually copying and pasting passwords is a hassle. This is where the browser extension comes in. It connects the KeePass XC to your browser to fill in login details automatically. First, you need to enable it inside the KeePass XC application. Go to Tools, Settings, then click Browser Integration. Check the box for Enable Browser Integration and select the browser you use. Next, install the KeePass XC browser extension from your browser's official store. For me, that's the Chrome store. It may be different for you, depending on what browser you're using. With your database unlocked in the app, click the KeePass XC icon in your browser's toolbar and press the Connect button. KeePass XC will ask you to give the connection a unique name like Chrome Laptop, and then save it. 
Now, when you visit a login page, a small KeePass XC icon will appear in the username field. Just click it and it will fill in your credentials. If you have multiple accounts for a site, it will let you choose which one to use. And there you have it. By taking control of your passwords with a tool like KeePass XC, you're taking a massive step towards securing your digital life. It's free, it's open source, and you are the only one in control of your data. What are your thoughts? Will you give KeePass XC a try? Drop me a comment below. If you found value in this video, do me a favor, like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel helps me grow the channel and allows me to continue to bring you content like this on a weekly basis. Be sure to check out this video on the best free full featured PDF editor. And as always, thank you for watching and until next time.